Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Magic News with Magic Ridge. I'm your host, Ridge, and today we have some more Time Spiral Remastered previews for you today. I call them spoilers, some people call them previews, tomato, tomato. Alright, so today we've got some more green, we've got multicolor cards, we have artifacts, and we have lands. We're getting towards the end of the spoilers ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So we, first up on the chopping block, we have Time of Need. One man of any color in a forest, 2cc, sorcery speed, search your library for a legendary creature card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Very nice! I heard legendaries are, are pretty good. So anyway, next we have Hyper Genesis, uh, no mana symbol, sorcery speed, it has suspend three of one of any color mana and a forest forest three mana. Starting with you, each player may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from their hand onto the battlefield. Repeat this process until no one puts a card onto the battlefield. I would say no thank you probably in this one and not put anything into play. Uh, this is a trap. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> Next, we have Yuktabai Drake. Uh, one forest. One CC creature. Drake. Two one. Flying. Haste. Haste. Has echo for one of any mana. And forest forest. Three. Three f mana. Um. No. I mean, yes, but then no. Because echo. So unless you're playing that thick-skinned boy goblin don't next we have penumbra spider two man of any color and forest forest four cc creature spider two four with reach when penumbra spider dies create a two four black spider creature token with reach double the power double the fun um uh, that's kind of cool meh. meh next we have giant dust wasp Dust Wasp? Okay. Three man of any color and forest forest. Five CC. We have a creature insect. Three three with flying. This one also has a spend four for one mana and a forest two mana. Um. Yeah, okay. We're not going to talk much about that. Nark. Narkst. Next we have Dark Wood Bayloth. Four man of any color and forest forest. Six CC. Creature type beast. Five five. This big weird boy has suspend five for one forest. One mana. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. Next, we have a goodie. Uh, well, kind of a good goodie. Uh, my buddy would like this. So we have Quasali Pride Mage, I believe, for a forest and plains. 2cc creature type cat wizard. 2-2. Two, two. It has exalted. We haven't gone over exalted during these spoilers, so... Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. You can pay one mana of any color, sacrifice Quasi Pride Mage, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Very nice for definitely Cat Tribal. Alright, next we have Feather the Redeemed. Or the Ridiculous. Depends on how you see it. Uh, shout out to Richie and his Feather deck. Uh, we have a legendary creature angel, 3-4 with flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, that targets a creature you control. Exile that card instead of putting it onto the into the graveyard, your graveyard, as it resolves. If you do, return to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. Just deja vu over and over with this lady. Alright, next we have... A Chroma's Memorial for 7 of any color mana 7cc legendary artifact. Creatures you control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black, and protection from rest. Yeah, rest. Red. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the flavor text there. No rest, no mercy, no matter what. Memorial inscription. Cool! Um... So yeah, I was talking about box price earlier. Now, I haven't really... I'm not going to get into the lands. Too many of the lands with the spoilers. But the box is definitely at 200 It's possibly right around $250. Uh, i will give it that. It's got some heavy hitters in here. Uh, Chroma's Memorial being one of them. 
Uh, it's an expensive boy. Next, we have Arcades, the state geist? Strategist? Strategist, I think. Sorry, the that's not one that works great with that border just because, like, the white, the white, uh, name, title, whatever. One of any mana color and a forest plains, uh, island. So 4cc legendary creature Elder Dragon 3-5 Flying Vigilance. Whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Cool. I was actually considering building this guy at one point and may return to those that possibility. And the other ability, each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Really thought this guy would be kind of cool to build out. Um, your 07 wall. But how does that work? Uh, it just assigns damage. Okay, so it just assigns combat damage equal to its toughness. So it won't technically be a 7 0. It'll just be attacking for 7. Okay, cool. I like this guy a lot. Next, we have uh, one that I use. We have Ever Flowing Chalice for 0 mana, unless you multi kick it for 13. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if you, you may pay an additional two of any color mana and any number of times as you cast a spell. Everflowing Chalice enters the battlefield with a charge counter on it for each time it was kicked. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Wait, add one mana, uh, add one of, uh, colorless mana to your mana pool for each counter on Everflowing Chalice. Sorry. I haven't been up very long today. I want to get out some videos earlier. Next, we have Sylvan Scrying. One man of any color in a forest. Two CC sorcery speed. Search your library for a land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Then shuffle your library. It is okay at best. This is not ramp. This is just making sure that you hit your land drop. Next, we have Search for Tomorrow. Two mana of any color mana and a forest. Sorcery speed. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. That is ramp. You are ramping an extra mana per turn. So spend two for one forest. One mana. Uh, very good, very good. Next, we have one that I'm interested in. We have Cloud Key. For three mana of any color, artifact is cloud key comes into play. Choose artifact, creature, enchantment, instant, or sorcery. Spells you play of the chosen type cost one mana of any color, colorless, less the play. The musical sound of its turning triggers the tumblers of revelation. Very, very nice. Got a globe on the key. I like this. I would like to try to put this in something. Um, not sure, maybe a model black deck. Um, un unsure, but if I pull one or two of these, I'll definitely try them out. Next, we have Contagion Clasp. It's not the most expensive boy, but it is one of the cooler, in fact, fellers. Two mana of any color, two colorless, two CC artifact. When Contagion Clasp enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. You can pay four mana of any color, tap this artifact, and proliferate. You choose any number of permanents and or players with counters on them, then give each another counter of a kind already there. So, doubling infect counters, doubling planeswalker, well not doubling, adding another counter to a poison infect, uh... Loyalty counter on Planeswalkers. Another plus one, plus one counter on a creature. I'm going to have some Gridlock here. Uh, shout out to Aldi's. Not sponsored. Giving me that, that pap in my step. Alright, next up we have Harmonize. Uh, two mana of any color and green, green. Draw three cards. Uh, I'd like to pick up some of these. I don't think I have any. So hopefully draw a few of those, because I would like to get... I want to dip my toes in some green, you know what I'm saying? Next, we have Edge of Autumn. One man of any color and a forest. Two CC sorcery speed. If you control four or fewer lands, search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. It also has cycling for sacrifice land. 
So if you sack a land, discard this card, you could draw a card. Um, this one is also ramp. Good. Next, we have Jora or Jaira, Joira, Jehoira, Jahira, Joira of the Gehitu. Gehitu? I'm not sure how to say that. One man of any color and island mountain. 3cc legendary creature human wizard. You can pay two colorless mana or manas of any color. Exile a non-land card from your hand. Put four time counters on the exiled card. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. She's also body and toughness 2-2. Two, two. She's a little lighty. Next, we have Jehoira's. Jehoira's time bug. A little weird ant. Uh, two man of any color, 2cc artifact creature insect, 1-2. You can tap this insect, choose target permanent, you control, or suspended card you own. If that permanent or card has a time counter on it, you may remove a time counter from it, or put another time counter on it. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see, excuse me, if anybody builds a, basically a time deck, a time, uh, suspend type deck, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, that's not what I want to do. Next up, we have a good one. We've got Tolaria West. It is a land. Tolaria West enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap Tolaria West to add a island or blue mana to your mana pool. It also has this wonderful ability called Transmute. Don't know if you heard of it. So, Transmute, one of any color mana and island, island, three mana. Discard this card. Search your library for a card with converted mana cost zero. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Um, you can only you can transmute as a sorcery speed, so it's not super fast. But you can uh, essentially early game. You have this bad boy. Pitch it for like I don't know any of the moxes that are legal. Um, you can go get the uh, Mana Vault, Crypt, not Vault, Crypt, Crypt, that's what I meant. Next up, we have Blood Braid Elf. I don't like this white writing, but okay. Two mana of any color and a Mountain Forest, 4cc creature type Elf Berserker, 3-2, Haste. It has Cascade. When you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Man, she's soup skinny. I don't know. Anorexic uh, elf, Zerker. Yeah, sure. Whatever. You know, somebody's going to make it. Next, we have Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. Uh, we have a Plains and Island, 2cc Legendary Creature, Human Soldier, 2-2. Two, two. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with converted mana costs greater than the number of lands that player controls. So, if you don't have the lands for it, you can't cheat it into play with Artifact, Ramp, etc., Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana were spent to cast it, counter that spell. Ooh, that's even worse. So, yeah, don't be cheating stuff in, Samuel. Timmy. Next, we have Field of Ruin. Land, you can add one of colorless mana to your mana pool in the new symbol. It's crazy to see the new colorless symbol on an old board card. Two mana of any color tap the Sacrifice Field of Ruin. Destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for base a basic land card. Puts it on the battlefield, then shuffle their library. Uh, great, except each player searches their library for a basic when this happens. So it's not it's not super great. Um, is it runnable? Sh sure. I mean, it'll kill a Cabal Coffers, but then give everybody an extra mana, including, well, not including, we'll get the mana back for the feller. Next, we have Timur Ascendancy for a Forest, Island, and Mountain 3cc enchantment. Creatures you control have haste. Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. I really like this. Uh, old Border. 
Uh, I really haven't had a chance to use the Temur Ascendancy either, but I'd like to. Excuse me once again. Shout out to... What was that? Summit? I thought it was Summit. What does it say? Simit? That doesn't matter. I'm parched. Okay. So, back to it. Um, yeah, I really like this. I'd like to possibly use it, but... I don't really run those colors. Next, we have Chromatic Star, one of any color mana artifact. One mana and tap this. Sacrifice Chromatic Star, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. When Chromatic Star is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. This used to be a very good staple in modern, I believe. It's still pretty good. Um, yeah, nice. Nice common. Next, we have another land. We have Flagstones of Trocair. Trocair. Legendary land, you can tap it to add a planes to your mana pool, white mana. When Flagstone of Tarkir is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. This is like for land wipers, so mass land destruction, stuff like that. So if this gets wiped out or destroyed or you sack it or whatever happens with it, you can go get a planes to replace it. Good, I run it in Abyssin. Next, we have Ancient Den. Really nice with the old border. Artifact land. Uh, you can tap it and add a planes or white man to your mana pool. Very nice. Let's just take a second to appreciate that artwork. <laughs> okay. Next, we have Hedron Archive. Four mana of any color. Four CC artifact. You can tap this artifact to add two of any color mana, not any color mana, two colorless mana to your mana pool. And you can also use two colorless mana and tap this, Sacrifice Hedron Archive, draw two cards. Very nice. It's been a staple in commander decks and stuff all over. You can get ramp out of it, and then when you're running low on the old cards and you've caught up on your lands, you can sacrifice it to draw two cards. Very nice. And I believe the last card of this morning segment, we have Abrupt Decay for one black mana and a forest. 2cc instant speed. Abrupt Decay can't be countered by spells or abilities. Nice. Destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost 3 or less. Very nice. Uh, if you are still here, I'd like you to go check out Commander Wars. I'll be there, playing some decks, check out what me and my friends are running. Uh, yeah, very, very cool, very cool. If you're still here and not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I've got giveaways and all sorts of things, uh, especially when uh, new sets are released. I, I like to try to do a giveaway. Uh, we have one coming up with Time Spiral Remastered. It'll be towards the end of the month. Um, yeah. I just thanks for the support, and I'll see you later on this evening for the rest of the spoilers.